This presentation features information about the three agriculture revolutions since the dawn of civilization by Mirren, Kenny, Mayumi, and Bo. The first agriculture revolution, also called the Neolithic Revolution, dates back as far as 10 to 12,000 years ago. During this revolution, nomadic hunting and gathering took place. To do this, people used tools such as clubs, spears, and fishing hooks to hunt. They harnessed fire for cooking, hunting, protection, warmth, and light. With their tools, humans were able to alter the environment to provide a more reliable food sources and therefore increased human population sizes. Nevertheless, humans still migrated with the seasonal cycladic movements of animals. The first agriculture revolution also encompassed the advert of the domestication of seed crops, which are plants that are reproduced by cultivating seeds. The domestication of seed crops began in the Nile River Valley and the Fertile Crescent in Southwest Asia. Seed crops required much more label than, their, than root crops. Seed crops required sowing, watering, and well-timed harvest. Root crops, on the other hand, are reproduced by cultivating either the roots or cutting from plants such as yams and require much less labor. The first agriculture revolution additionally witnessed the domestication of animals. Goats were first domesticated in the Zagros Mountain of the Fertile Crescent nearly 10,000 years ago, and sheep were domesticated in Anatolia nearly 9,500 years ago. South and Southeast Asia and Mesoamerica were also important parts of animal domestication. Animals were used for ceremonies, protection, shelters, milk, meat, and labor. With domesticated crops and animals, early humans were able to live a more settled lifestyle and utilize methods of subsistence agriculture, such as sifting, cultivation, and slash and burn agriculture to grow crops. Many years later, in the 17th and 18th centuries, agriculture in Europe underwent significant improvements. These improvements were called the Second Agriculture Revolution. The Second Agriculture Revolution coincided with the Industrial Revolution which provided new technologies such as seed drills, the mechanical reaper, tractor trailers, and the steel plow. Irrigation was a new technology but was limited by competition for water. The new agriculture technology decreased the dependence of farmers on other people and greatly increased crop yields. Because of the increased crop yields, subsistence farming declined and farmers started to sell excess harvest. Additionally, farmers, in farmers increased storage sizes to hold excesses and developed canned tech techniques to pervert, preserve food for longer periods of time. Even better, farmers were now able to sell their products over longer distances because of the creation of trains and other transportation. However, the excess of food dropped food prices and farmers began to earn less money than they used to. The third agriculture revolution, aka the Green Revolution, occurred not too long after the second agriculture revolution and came at a time in which global hunger was a growing concern. The Green Revolution was a period of significant increase in agriculture productivity starting in the 20th century as a result of new technologies. Its first areas of success were in Mexico and India. Farming methods used during the Green Revolution included the increased use of pesticides, synthetic fertilizers, and improved irrigation techniques. Biotechnology was used to, to produce high-yielding varieties, HYVs, of plants and other genetically modified organisms, GMOs, to outperform traditional crop varieties by being more weather tolerant, disease resistant, and productivity. Unfortunately, HYVs and GMOs are non-renewable, meaning the seeds cannot be used for the next year, causing farmers to buy new seeds annually. Positive impacts of the Green Revolution includes the reduction of world poverty and hunger. However, it has increased issues about pesticides and decreasing water tables and has decreased plant biodiversity. Additionally, it allowed larger companies to buy out smaller farms and replaced human labor with mechanized labor, thereby increasing employment in rural areas. <laughs> Although there have been negatives to the agriculture revolution, they have ultimately benefited humanity. Just imagine, where would we be without these revolutions? Thank you to Miss Brown and the Human Geography Textbook. Hello.